Hey, what's going on tech fans? Before we jump into today's video, let's check out a word from our sponsor, Corsair. If you're looking to add some color to your system, look no further. Corsair has your answer with their LL Series RGB LED case fans. With 16 independent RGB LEDs in every fan, customization is practically endless. The LL Series fans are also engineered for low noise operation, all without sacrificing performance. And with the PWM control, these fans can be set anywhere from 600 to 1500 RPMs for precise noise and airflow adjustments. So if you want to trick out your system with color, check out the Corsair LL Series RGB LED case fans today. All right, so once again, special thanks to Corsair for helping bring today's video to the table. Now, unless you guys have been living under a rock, you guys probably have heard that NVIDIA's released a brand new video card. Not a lot of hype surrounding this video card either. There was no meetings, no nothing. Just all of a sudden, a 1070 Ti showed up at my door and hey, it's here. So there's still an NDA on the card as far as benchmarks and all that stuff go, but I can show you guys the card, show you guys the specs, what it looks like, and pretty much the predictability about where it's actually going to score in the real world. So with that said though, let's jump in. Let's check out the unboxing, the specs of the brand new NVIDIA 1070 Ti card. Geared for overclocking right out of the box. As we unbox the GTX 1070 Ti, you guys are gonna notice that this is a reference model card and a reference model box. So not a whole lot of accessory or anything is going to come with this. You get the card itself inside of an anti-static bag and you get all the drivers and all that stuff in a little manual inside of a package. And that's pretty much all you get with reference based card. Next up, let's check out the card. Now this card pretty much is exactly the same as all the reference models that we've seen for the last few years. The same single fan design, single blower fan, same everything pretty much in the card except for the tech specs inside. And one thing nice, however, even though this is a reference-based card, you do get a nice back plate. I think they've done this on a couple of the latest models, but I think it's pretty nice that NVIDIA's finally jumping on the bandwagon and including that in their build. Because let's just face it, most of the reference cards you get out there, they just have a plain back on them, all those little sharp edges and stuff for you to cut your hands or even show out your card. So seeing that they're putting on the reference design is actually a pretty nice feature. And another thing that's really cool about this card is it actually supports SLI. So we're still getting SLI support across the board, unlike some of the other cards, like the 106 that had no SLI support, the 1070 Ti does support SLI. Now as far as how big the card is, it's 10.5 inches long by 4 inches high and features a two slot design, just like pretty much all the reference cards we've seen for the last few years. Where things get different are actually under the hood. There are four graphics processing clusters, 19 streaming multiprocessors, 2,432 CUDA cores, 152 texture units, and 64 ROPs. Now, as far as the clock speeds go on the 1070 Ti, you have a base clock speed of 1607 megahertz and you have a boost clock speed of 1683 megahertz, which is pretty decent, but this card is really geared to be overclocked right out of the box. The 1070 Ti also features eight gigabytes of GDDR5 memory with a 256-bit memory interface and a total memory bandwidth of 256 gigabytes a second. NVIDIA recommends a 500 watt power supply minimum to power this card, and the TDP of the card is 180 watts. It also has a thermal threshold of 94 Celsius, which means that this card can get really hot before it fails. And one thing nice about the GTX 1070 Ti is it only requires a single 8-pin power connector to run the card. Now, as far as the connections go, there are three display ports, a single HDMI, and a single dual link DVI connector for the card. All right, tech fans, so there you have it. Everything that you need to know about the GTX 1070 Ti, except for the scores, which I'll bring to you guys on November 2nd. Now, this card slotted to come to market at about $449. So like I said, it's going to sit right in between the Vega 56 and the Vega 64, and I guarantee you that it's going to beat those cards just from everything that I've been hearing and reading thus far. Now. I can't say that absolutely for certain because I haven't run the test, but when I run the test, I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. I really don't think that NVIDIA is going to release a card just for shits and giggles. They're going to release something that's pretty much going to be able to be able to blow away the AMD cards and still come in at a better price point. And with all the problems that there've been regarding getting a hold of the Vega cards, this might be the card that fills that market and gets a lot of people's money. I'm Elric, you've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Like usual, down below the like button, we'll have a link for more information about this card. So stick around because we'll be having the benchmarks with lots of games coming really soon. Peace out.